Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Um, thank you so much for coming to my channel. My name is Jennifer Walker. Um, guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Really appreciate it. This is going to be for your weekly love readings uh, for March 16th to the 22nd. This is going to be for you and your partner. So it's going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between or anyone who needs love messages. Um, I have a couple announcements to make. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be going live um, on the 18th of March, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you there. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to be releasing the monthlies. So extra turns, um, love coming towards you and um, you and your partner. Obviously, you and your partner love coming towards you or general. Uh, singles, couples, and anyone in between, and X returns. Obviously, if you have an X, then you would check out that reading. You can find those actually on my homepage and my YouTube channel. Um, you can look under my playlist. I have everything separated, so you should be able to find it on there. So look for that this week. All right, let's get started. Sorry for the long-winded thing. Um, so what's going on with uh, Pisces energies for March? 16th to the 22nd what's going on with the romantic love entry uh, energies for march 20 16th to the 22nd uh 2019 show me the cards i need to see i'm going to throw all the cards down first then we'll get started hmm. a lot of people from the past are popping up this week this is weird um What's going on with Pisces love interest or whoever Pisces is here for, for March 16th to 22nd, uh, 2019? What divides these two romantically? What divides these two romantically? Interesting. What brings these two together romantically? Hmm. Okay. All right, let's get started. Um, so I can't go use the Lenormand today. So we got a situation where you got the five of swords. You're trying to figure out if you want to stand up and fight or walk away. Maybe you're dealing with an earth sign person or they're coming across as this energy. So maybe you're trying to be patient. Um, this energy is coming out as someone who's being patient, who's being nurturing, and, um, or you could be dealing with an earth sign person, which would be a, uh, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And below this five of swords, we got the nine of cups, which is something to do with you fulfilling your wishes, right? Nine of cups. And it's next to the six of cups. So something from your past, possibly. So it looks like what's going on with your romantic love life? It looks like something's going on where either you or the other person's deciding to stand up and fight or walk away. Someone here is being patient. They're patient. They're trying to see what's going on. This queen of pentacles is looking over at this nine of cups. So it tells me that this is saying that either you or the other person is thinking, okay, this situation fulfills my wishes. I really want to have this reconciliation. It does look like there's some kind of reconciliation taking place here between you and another person. However, um, I will tell you that there is a choice to be made here because what divides you is the two of cups, right? So then we come over to this other person's side. We got the eight of pentacles. Now, something about work, school, or apprenticeship, or someone putting the work in. Below that card, we have something pertaining to the queen of swords. Now, what's the queen of swords energy? Again, that's a patience energy, but she'll tell it like it is. She used to cut somebody out. She's about communication. She'll, she's very direct. She's very political as well. She's politically correct in what she does. And next to that energy is the chariot card, which is someone's trying to take control of the situation to do what they want with it. The reason why, because this person has the devil card. Something is not quite right here with this devil card. All right. Some kind of temptation or something that is uh, bondage, addiction, or depression here. And it's next to the card of work, okay? It's next to the card of work. And it definitely looks like there's an energy of cutting something out pertaining to the situation at work because the work card is below the queen of swords. 
However, when I look at you guys together, I see that the chariot card is here. They do want to be victorious and having a reconciliation with you. Okay, so I see that next to the, this reconciliation card. The Queen of Swords is saying to me, because it fulfills your wishes, there's some kind of communication taking place from their side. They're going to communicate with you because you're a water sign person. Um, and then we see something to do with the work situation and your side, which is the Five of Swords. Something is going on where you're just like, okay, either you stand up and fight for this or you walk the hell away, okay? And then we have you being patient here or this other person or someone else is being patient here because something is not quite right here with the devil card. All right, so now let's do some clarification. Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? You want this person to be single. So you're saying, look, look, stand up and fight for this, you know, because the tower card represents some kind of solo situation, someone's isolation. It also represents a corporation. So let's throw another card on that. Yeah, taking a leap of faith towards you, child, right? So they, you want them to, to, to stand up and fight for this relationship. If you really want a reconciliation with me, you know, um, do something about it. Stand up and fight for this. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, because there's communication. And there's communication from you or the other person about some kind of patience going on and some kind of long-term commitment there because this is a pentacle energy I, I see that there's definitely something to do with some kind of long-term commitment someone also could be uh working on their finances as well some kind of communication between you guys about finances because the fishes are here right and the fishes represents abundance and it also represents money okay why is the nine of cups here why is the nine of cups here why is the nine of cups here So someone's fulfilled wishes may be a burden to someone else with a cross here. And someone is trying to be slick with the fox card, okay? So the fox card represents someone who's being sneaky, slick. I mean, yeah. And that's a burden to you, to the situation. Why is the six of cups here? Why is the six of cups here? Why is the six of cups here? You want some kind of movement in this reconciliation, the ship card. Maybe you guys have to travel to one another. Maybe there's some kind of foreign love here with the ship card. Maybe there's some kind of travel involved with this reconciliation. Something is happening here with that. Okay, so now let's go to the other side. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Well, obviously the Eight of Pentacles has something to do with um, an overly protective person, the bear or motherly kind of figure. We did see the Queen of Pentacles, that is a motherly kind of energy. Or it also has to do with a manager job or some kind of money here with the bear. Let's get another card. Money being the key here. So they're saying something about, we have the Pentacles here, something to do with work, manager, or something to do with someone um, in a manager or a leadership role being the key here. When it comes to this job. All right. Why is Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Garden. So uh, this definitely could be taking place in, uh, with around a lot of people. Garden represents a group of people. It could represent an actual garden. It could represent a restaurant. It could, this communication that you guys had, because interesting enough, when we look at the Nine of Cups here, right? It looks like there's some kind of eating going on, some kind of, uh, you know, food and all that kind of stuff. So technically this communication between you guys could definitely take place in a restaurant or somewhere there's some kind of socialization going on. Um, what is this temperance card about? I mean, what is this devil card about? What is this devil card about? Hmm. Something to do with something that needs to end. This is the coffin card. Uh, some kind of movement and an ending. So something's not quite right here. This here because something needs to end that's not quite right. And why is the cherry card here? Why is the cherry card here? Why is the cherry card here? Cherry card here is interesting enough. You got so something to do with money, abundance, abundance, money or abundance here. 
being a uh, barrier mountain uh, to choices someone may be financially dependent on someone here okay uh, and that also may be why this whole uh, situation may be going down okay maybe there's some kind of partnership going on with somebody and it somehow is affecting your romantic love life okay let us find out why this two of cups is here why is this two of cups here why is the 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 two of cups divide them okay an actual person is dividing this situation that's a burden to the situation so there's an actual person here that is dividing you guys okay so what brings you guys together romantically um, marriage long-term commitment or something traditional right why is the Hierophant card here why is the Hierophant card here why is the Hierophant card here okay so something needs to end in order for you guys to have some kind of commitment and have some kind of movement in this situation uh, and something surrounding a bear uh, a motherly figure um, maybe even something to do with some kind of job okay so interesting enough okay so there is an actual person here and it looks like something is at work something is pertaining to work that's not quite right because the work card or the school card is next to the devil temptation card there and um, obviously what divides you is a choice here a choice and love and this is a burden to you and what needs to end something needs to end and this bear is representation of like a manager kind of uh, person and something pertaining to travel or something to do with movement here okay maybe they're a foreign love maybe a foreign boss something here is pertaining to work and something else all right so let me get some um clarification for you guys what's going on with pisces romantic love life what advice do you have for them for the week of the 16th to the 22nd please show me the card i need to see show me the card i need to see hmm so their advice separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon let me get one more card here and below that something about playfulness so it looks to me like from this advice that that a decision hasn't been made as of yet uh, going into this week but just be aware that there is something that's not quite right here pertaining to somebody at their job and that you're gonna get some kind of communication about a reconciliation and possibly this may happen at like a restaurant or somewhere there's kind of socialization and food and so forth food and drinking going on okay pisces um i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please like and subscribe and of course if this doesn't resonate with you at all and you want a personal reading go to my website jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the link below